DLC already? What the hell? 50 bucks? Oh, they're just screwing with us. Just kidding. Go figure. Deleting virus here, and we're going to do a beta sort of let's play on Wasteland 2 here. Oh, this is interesting. You got a little background noise when she's off. Once again, Okay, let's create our squad. Wow, we got a bunch of people to already choose from. They built up for us. Cherry bomb, pills. I, I love that one. Pills. Bear, hex. Alright. Let's go ahead and make a character. I'm doing this commentary actually after I've already done the gameplay, so you might have to excuse some of my uh, verbiage on some of this. Alright, let's check this out. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, charisma. Look at all these kinds of options to customize your character with. Makes it look like you're definitely going to have to specialize your characters. And as I look around here, I'm just like, okay. Checking out the various uh, attributes you can have with them. And what they affect. I mean, they got it right there in the drive stats, how it affects you in the right-hand corner. I sort of like this. I just spent a little bit of time going through here, reading a little bit what's going on, trying to decide what I'm going to do for my character. And I'm not really sure how I... I don't think I would, as char creating a character for myself, use charisma too much. And I mean, sort of Lex there, but I decided to go ahead and throw in some... I think I did... No, it was awareness... Trying to think, which one should I have went for? I spent an hour playing this game, it's quite entertaining, but unfortunately I'm sitting here uh, taking forever to decide on what I was going to do. Okay, threw in for coordination, speed, intelligence. I think, yeah, I ended up going back. I couldn't decide for a while there what else I was going to use my last point on. But I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go for intelligence for long term investment in my character. I sort of did this actually quite often with Fallout 2. I would invest more into intelligence and then I'd invest heavily into charisma on top of that. And I can't remember, I like drop perception down constantly on the, my character or something like that. Yeah, I'm sitting here I'm like, what should I do? Can't make up my mind. I just said, screw it. Ah, uh, now the various skills, they have like three major branching trees here with all these interesting skills. Knowledge skills. General skills. So I get an idea on how this character creation goes. I'm not gonna spoil too much for you guys. But one thing I noticed was like you had these kiss ass and hard ass little things, and then I scroll down some more. Sitting here, oh, leadership, I'm looking at that. Uh, move silently, that's not unlocked. I'm not sure what is required for that. But it's interesting how you got all these interesting spells. I mean, skills. And then this one's what caught my attention smart ass. I have a tendency to do this quite often. And so I had I had to go ahead and put two points into smart ass. Uh, it, it sort of it takes up more points also as you go up in these uh, spinatures, so you can't sit there and go, oh, I'm gonna put well do a min max like I'm gonna put everything in the weapon smithing or surgeon or something like that. But they got a hidden skill right there. I noticed. I'm not sure how you unlock that one either. Might be something you have to complete the game for, who knows. Or something they haven't instituted yet. Yeah. So, I'm just sitting here like, oh man, all these skills I want to put points into. You, just, you have such limited points you start off with, but it gives emphasis on your character creation for your team. And so I'm just sitting here checking out the various kinds of things, brawling handguns. I was like, screw it, I think I'm going to go for submachine gun. I was I was sort of tempted to do uh, energy weapons, but I'm like, I think a submachine gun would be more appropriate starting off. Alright, okay, I got my stats figured out. Now this is interesting, let's see here, I'm going to put in my name, deleting virus. At uh, what age? Should I go 27? Nah... Uh, Maybe 30? Uh, 
Nah, can't do that. Nah, screw it. I'm gonna go with 25. I'm gonna round that out. Let's have some fun here. Uh, oh, cool. Different kinds of religions. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll just go for atheist there. And smokes. Okay. Um, uh, what should I do? Red rooster. Uh, yeah, I gotta do bones. Uh, I should just do bones. Yeah. Uh, let's see. American. Maybe I should be Russian. Nah, screw it. I'm gonna be Native American. I think, yeah, I think I'll just do Native American. Okay, I'm a Native American atheist that smokes bones. Let's see here. Go ahead and hit next. And of course, I make a mistake. Forget to switch from female to male. I didn't even notice the gender thing right there. It's like, oh, it's automatically selecting male. I think I remember why it was... There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I just sat there and, uh... She was female. Maybe I can backtrack. Nope. Unfortunately, I can't. The, uh... At this point, I couldn't back. It's sitting there trying to read the hard drive. So, I'm gonna have to put in a little troubleshoot ticket on the beta part for this. Because I couldn't load up the dossier to change anything. So, this might be a bug that you guys will encounter. So, get, just give you a heads up on that part if you're in the beta test and you're watching this right now. As I said, well, as stated, this is the beta, so there's going to be bugs, and my job as a beta tester is to find these bugs and report them. And that's what mentality you guys have to take when you're doing this. Okay, I ended up bringing this back up, so I was like, okay, screw it, I'm going to mess around here. I'm like, okay, I made her look like that. Now, what kind of portrait should I do? Got some interesting portraits, but according to the thing, we're able to put in some customized portraits, so we're going to just use a stock or default portrait. I couldn't really decide, should I go for her? Or should I go for the pink-haired one? I was like, you know, I sort of want to go with Tank Girl in this one if I'm going to be stuck as a chick. So, yeah, I'll do that. Let's see if, by the way, making her look tank girlish or something that's pretty much what my mindset was about and for anybody who does uh, recognize tank girl or seen the movie or any of the comics uh, you'd know how awesome she is uh, i'm sitting here checking out the various hair types and stuff i'm like I'm so i think i'll do the goggles and i'm like okay what should i do for the face well i Sort of like a mask, face paint. I'm pretty sure there's different options for different head options for each uh, nationality in the pickings. So I'm just screwing around with the Native American stuff. I was like, oh wait, she's got goals here, so I ended up changing up her hairstyle. But I have to say, you got some pretty good options for customizing your character here. There's various little torso things. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out which one would look tank more tank girlish. Kind of. Sitting here and just clicking and clicking. I have to do, I do admit, I love the, uh, the soundtrack they got for this. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of uh, doing Fallout, but it's got more of like a Western stylish in a way. I had to go with the backpack with the hatchet on the back. I think, I think, yeah, I think that's a pink hatchet too on top of that, so... I saw the, ta the, the the leggings right there. I had to go back to the dress there, the tutu or whatever you want to call it. I was like, uh, yeah, this is Tank Girl right here. This is it right there. 
Now what's funny is the skin tone, you can make yourself look like a you know, like going like straight up the green there. Alright, and then you can export or save your character for later usage, so I did that. Now to build my team, I, I, I'm sitting here trying to figure this out. I'm like, whoops, I don't want to do a new, just create a new character. I'm going to take one of these, a uh, couple of these stock characters. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, huh, I think I'll take the sniper. And I accidentally double clicked on that, so I backed out of that. And I'm like, well, I like a uh, Russian looking ship here. So I'll take the hunter here. Bear. Russian has strong women. And I was like, well, I better get a medic, so I got pills here. But it turns out to be, it looks like a Native American chick, so it's like three girls and a guy. Okay, he's the guy. The sniper is going to be lucky, I guess. Or unlucky, depending on the time of the month. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that. And this is to remind you guys, it is a beta. So if you're working on the testing of this, make sure you report the bugs. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party. You hardly knew the man. Appropriate too. Seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. Sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly talk crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked about us, the Desert Rangers, specifically, and said it was coming for us. I tend to test out some quick uh, chat things here. Just to see if I get anything, Super Mutants. experiment more with this later. Well, I wish I had another option, but the Desert Rangers are spread a little thin right now. There are no more experienced hands to spare. The next generation is going to have to lead the charge. Look, the mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you can find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Now, I know you're going to be tempted to hunt for Ace's murderers along the way, and if you find them, good. But your priority, however, is finding that signal. Vengeance for Ace's death is not as important as assessing this threat to our security. It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Stress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. Once you prove your 
yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, you are cut out to be a desert ranger. We will let I'm gonna be a smart ass. Yeah, definitely be a smart ass. Using logic on me, eh? Smart ass. Logic and observation will change some folks' minds, and you can catch people in lies that way. But sometimes it only makes them mad, so be careful. In this case, you're right. I should let you in, but I got a feeling about you, fool. You got depths you don't even know you have. It's going to take adversity to tap them. So I'm sending you out under gunned and unprepared just to see what it brings out of you. You'll thank me later. Uh, maybe. Yeah, the maybe part. Good I'm going to build a shovel. If you're not going to give me anything, at least I am going to take this shovel. Okay, I sort of experimented. I just glanced uh, over the. Uh, they gave you a cheat sheet when you got it. And I'm guessing you could probably dig that up, but I'm not even going to really try that. Next thing I know, I'm probably going to be shooting up the ranger station, so. But yeah, I'm just getting a good fill here using uh, the scroll reel and all that stuff. The cheat sheet, uh, sheet they send you gives you a quick overview of what's going on here. And... Oh yeah, let's see here, I had to uh, figure this out here. I'm like, okay, how do I do this? And I'm like, I know I'm going to fill the uh, hard ass and all that stuff, so. Gives you an idea of what's going on. 